Ray Bradbury is the author of Fahrenheit 451, and he was born in Waukegan, Illinois on August 22, 1920. In his lifetime, he published some 30 books and 600 short stories, plus poems, essays, and plays. He also wrote for theater, TV, and film, and most notably, screenplays for the Ray Bradbury Theater and the screenplay for John Huston's film adaptation of Moby Dick. In 2000, the National Book Foundation's Medal for Distinguished Contributions to American Letters was given to Bradbury. And in 2007, he was awarded a Pulitzer Prize Special Citation. His family was always in the printing business. His aunt Neva gave him his first fantasy book, a collection of fairy tales. Bradbury started writing early. He wanted to be a writer by the age of 12. He couldn't afford to attend college during the Great Depression, but he read extensively in public libraries. He published his first story, Pendulum, in 1941. He got the idea to write Fahrenheit 451 from Adolf Hitler, who burned books in Berlin when Bradbury was just 15. Fahrenheit 451 was written in response to Arthur Kessler's 1940 novel, Darkness at Noon about a protagonist put on trial for treason even though his guilty verdict is predetermined. It's meant to manipulate the population. Bradbury called Kessler's book the true father, mother, and lunatic brother to his novel. Fahrenheit 451 was Ray Bradbury's biggest seller and is considered by many fans and critics alike to be his masterwork. It's an iconic piece of dystopian fiction and many of the themes from censorship to government control to complacency in populations to the dark potential for technology to go awry became fundamental ideals of science fiction for decades to come. On top of all that, Fahrenheit 451 was a multiple time award winner. It won the American Academy of Arts and Letters Award in Literature in 1954 and that same year was awarded the Commonwealth Club of California's Gold Medal. Additionally, it won the Prometheus Award for Libertarian Science Fiction in 1984. Ray Bradbury continued to publish and oversee new story collections until close to his death on June 5, 2012. His obituary in the New York Times predicted his name would appear near the top of any list of major science fiction writers of the 20th century.